What is up, YouTubers? Johnsy here, and welcome back to more of Life is Strange True Colors slash Wavelength Steph's story. And in the last video, um, we were doing our daily stuff as always, got to talk to some of our dates. Doesn't seem like we're going to be talking to them for a while, or even going out in that case. Um, doing some stuff around the store, and Steph's been having some flashbacks, kind of, well, not like we obviously haven't seen the flashbacks, but like things that kind of remind her of the storm that happened in Arcadia Bay, which, if you guys don't know, spoiler alert, by the way, in the first Life is Strange, um, in one of the endings, uh, there's a storm that destroys Arcadia Bay, which is what we're dealing with. So we're just doing the last task here, and then we'll most likely move on to the next day or whatever, so... Alright, what's going to remind us of the storm this time? Son of lead? Yeah, but she's been having, like, memories of the past. It's just like any other day. It's just like any other fucking day. Gabe. Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Alrighty. Close up. And we are off the air. Gabe, listen. I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Are we actually going to go to a new location? Oh. Son of a bitch. I'm off work. Fuck you. Oh. Oh, it's from Mikey. Read. Okay, you guys can read too. Um, two staff. Subject, I understand. I understand, okay? I know this is the time we- Oh! Now I get it. So, on- around this time of the year, this was when the storm came and destroyed a lot. Uh, like, destroyed Arcadia Bay and probably some people as well. So, that's probably- that's probably what happened. Gee, I wonder what this would be like if the storm didn't happen. That's interesting. I would like to check that out. I might check that out my own time, but that that's weird the process. Oh wait, uh oh, may you know what? Maybe you'll I think I know what would be different now that I think about it. Because uh, like obviously with the storm and everything of what happened, I think because Chloe was a good friend to Steph, maybe she'd be remembering Chloe and having bad memories with her. Like, with her being dead and all. That that could probably be, and that could be, like, that's probably, like, around the same day as the storm, obviously. So, that that would probably be the difference in my in my head. I might look it up later, and it's probably going to be that, but that, that's my theory. That's my theory. Anyways, I'm going to read this now. I understand, okay? I know it's that time of year when those memories attack you and all you want to do is shut them out. I know you would give anything to get through tonight uh, without thinking of Arcadia Bay or the storm or me, but just in case, uh, I'm here for you. I know I will be. No matter how fucking terrible the night always is, I'm not at least a bit sorry that I still have you in my life. I know, eh, and I know you feel the same. Even if uh, you're the little worst at showing it. Anyways, uh, you know I'm around, and I and could definitely use some gaming distractions. No pressure, really. But I'm around. Mikey. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Mikey. Damn it, Mikey. But yeah, obviously in my thoughts of what uh, would have changed if it wasn't the storm would be about Chloe. Because I feel like it might have been like with her being dead and all. And Mikey and Steph were close with her in the um, 
uh, before the storm story with Chloe. So, yeah. Funny enough, also, apparently, uh, the first Life is Strange and, uh, Before the Storm is actually coming to Switch. So I might actually play that for the channel sometime in the future. Maybe not sometime soon, but sometime in the future. Hey, it's Mikey! Yo, Mikey, it's been so long. What up? Yeah. He looks different. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we? Okay, let's see what uh, we have to do here. Play campaign with Mikey. Okay, whatever. Um, read. I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. We playing or not? Shh. Wells is coming. Penis. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Some memories. Okay. Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? I didn't roll the dice. They're different. I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now? I feel so fucking guilty. That I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. Even if people I didn't like, I didn't have to be so, I don't know, judgmental, I guess. Just because they're gone now doesn't change who they were. You really think you did anything wrong? I didn't do anything right. You ever talk to Chloe? No, I hear she's off the radar like me. The two wandering weirdos. <laughs> Look, Steph. What you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. The, well, I was gonna do other thing! Oh, I guess I could've... Okay. Uh, map. Look. Move. Roll. I'm a roll. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. What's dice roll? Fuck. Water seeping in. Roll for perception. This storm is is biblical. Why hasn't Drew called back yet? Anything from your mom? She'll be fine. My house is safe. You know what isn't, though? Your position. You're surrounded by enchanted skeletons, and your HP is fucked. Now roll. Were they really playing D&D &D when the storm happened? Fuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. I don't know. How do you deal with the thoughts that won't go away? What do you mean? Uh, who's Drew again? I know. Oh, his brother? Drew? At the end? Oh, like picturing my brother being crushed to death by cinder blocks. Wondering if it hurt? If he had any last 
my thoughts. I guess I just accept them now. It's like a song that gets stuck in your head. It's there whether you like it or not, so might as well sing along. I've watched my mom die a thousand times in my mind, running into the basement, grabbing her rosary beads, screaming in fear. Always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. But maybe talking about it helps. Yeah. Maybe. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. Okay, well I drove the dice. Uh, what else is there to really do? Everything else is luck, so I guess I just have to move Elmon. I believe Elmon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. Here we go again. Flashbacks. Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but... Maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? So the one year anniversary yeah. since that happened. That sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you. Again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Uh... This one, I guess. Maybe you just can't let go of high school. I'm your human time capsule back to the good old days. I know you don't believe in that. Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. School, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me. Lucky, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you. It makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't. But continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. I never thought of it that way. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll be better. Because the truth is, I need you too. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? 
Just because Elamon is totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is. I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything. And don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Ooh, spooky. Nice. I will say that did kind of... I did get some feels for that because in a way it kind of relates to me and another friend. They've... I mean, they kind of do that kind of shit to everyone. They've been kind of like pushing people away, honestly. And, I mean, they've been busy as well. So, I mean, I guess kind of like staff, but like... You know, it just, it just kind of feels like that. And we also do feel like we need each other in each other's lives as well. Like, I, I, I just feel like me and my friend, we kind of connect kind of like how Mikey and uh, Steph are in this situation. I, I've just been kind of thinking about that since uh, that scene kind of popped up. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd kind of talk. I, I was going to maybe, like, pause and talk about it for a second. But, like, you know, we have the loan screen now, so. <laughs> but, yeah. It's very interesting to have, like, the Storm reference as well. Uh, like, having it be out now, even though it hasn't popped up in, like, the other previous episodes. Except for episode four, obviously. Like, the last episode, we've been able to have some stuff about the Storm. I wonder if this is the end of the... end of the Steph story. I have no idea. It kind of feels like it would be, but who knows. Maybe there's at least one more scene. Which hopefully doesn't have the fucking, like... Load screen after load screen after load screen to get through specific points, Gabe! <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I do kind of relate to that kind of whole situation. Like, my friend's been kind of distanced. Uh, they've been distancing themselves from uh, them... We haven't had, like, any arguments about that or anything, but, like, you know. Like, she, like, I know she cares about me still, and I care about her too, so, you know. It's all fine at the end of the day. It's all fine at the end of the day. Yeah, man, now we, now we have the long-ass loading screens. <laughs> Again. But honestly, even, like, with the loading screens this time, like, they haven't been as long. Probably because we've only been going through, uh, two locations, obviously. It hasn't been, like, that long to go in between each of them. So, you know. But yeah. Uh, like I also said before, the original Life is Strange and Before the Storm is gonna be, uh, is coming out for Switch. And like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna be playing that right away, but it might be something I might do for the channel. Do, 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 do. There we go. Oh god, it's pretty okay, so it's Alright, so we still got some gameplay. No calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. It's Christmas. I gotta say though. If you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to you, oh, it's New Year's, never mind. I highly recommend it. Honestly, I might do this every year. Oh. Hey there, you're live on KRCT, and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. Oh, hi, Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. How's the Black Lantern? Anyone make out with the taxidermy yet? I don't know. I left work so I could talk to you about something. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to... the psychic. Oh. Alright. What's on your mind? There's... someone in my family be totally alone right now. Oh. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and 
all that time I never got to touch. Why didn't you? Because I didn't have anything to offer her. That's been my excuse for ages. No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask, what's going to happen if I contact her? What's she going to say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Okay. Give me a second. Come on, high roll, please. We know this is Alex, so please, come on, high roll, high roll, high roll, please. Uh... You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe? But in a good way. Uh, serious commitments, except of guilt. Uh, uh, this one. You call her up, and it goes even better than you could have imagined. In five minutes, you're both cracking jokes, making references, laughing your heads off. It's like no time has passed at all. Uh, why is this bad? Because even while you're laughing and chatting, you feel heavier. You feel the weight of someone depending on you. So you rise to the challenge and learn to be responsible. You answer all her emails, reply to all her texts. You start using a calendar so you never forget a weekly phone call. Charlotte thinks it's hot. But honestly... It sucks. You miss your total free time, and it scares the crap out of you how much you care about her. But it also feels right. And there's no question that you want to be there for her for the rest of your life. <laughs> Which is not long. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Aww. That was a nice little moment. But yeah, obviously that's Gabe talking about Alex and, you know, brother and sister. And obviously I made the joke when she said the rest of your life, which uh, was like, Not for long! <laughs> There's more! What the fuck? Take two calls, advertise three things. Uh, okay, let's do an ad first. Yo, I'm bopping this music right now. What is your love? Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're gonna survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Oops. Not to worry. Spam's Grocery mm -hmm. has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with. Uh. Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty sized candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamp is your one stop shop for healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spamp. Alright, Gabe. Oh. What did you leave out there for me?
Yo, that's, this song is actually bopping right now. You know what? No. No dates right now. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, uh... Okay, so here it is. Yo, checking under... Check under the front door of the shop lately for, like, I don't know, surprise left for you uh, by your loving and supporting buds. What did you do? <laughs> Come on, we'll listen to the song again. Enjoy. So let's see. Uh, read all the ads, answer two calls, check the front door. Uh, Tally Foosball score, listen to your final song. Okay. A few other stuff from Ethan. New issues done. Sick. When do I get copies from our shop? Uh, I can probably bring you some tomorrow. Heck yes. See you then. Alrighty. Uh, Mikey. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So remember. So no, no, I'll talk to you soon. Cool. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, let's see what this is about. So I draw on lobsters. I'm probably not gonna read all of it. I'm just gonna skim through. Say, I'll show you next time. Come by the shop. It's perfect. Uh, wasn't me, man. You know, I take credit. <laughs> I'm cleaning up graffiti, too. Char, you being mysteriously quiet. Long live lost laser duck. Feel it still. Ah. I was trying to see if that song was in the browser or if it even had a name, but it wasn't there. Damn. Cause this song is boffin! Boffin. But boffin. This is your love. All I want is your love. No. No! Bring it back! Please. Ah, That song was bopping though, I enjoyed that. Alright, I'll do some stuff in the shop now. All I want is your love. All I want is your love. That, that was a bopping song to bop to. I, I, I like the first, like, when I just started hearing it, I was like, Okay, this is this is nice. I like this. Ah, and it's New Year's. We're doing some shit. I wish the song just kind of repeated, but whatever. What could fit under the front door? Maybe concert tickets. Maybe, but, uh, I think one of the people, uh, Violet, for instance, I guess. No. Uh, I'm glad we're bros now, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so this is a new shit. I'm kind of into these two, uh, story now. Um, okay, so, uh, hey, holy shit, how are you? Good, you know, it's tourist season, so Tyler's is calling the ski bros, how are you? Yeah, not bad, actually, got invited to GM and LARP. Aha, of course you did. I've been thinking a lot about you since 
things ended. Kind of sucks, huh? Haha, <laughs> I mean, it could have been way worse. I guess, lol. I just started seeing someone new. It's really, uh, well, and I like her so much. <laughs> I said that weird. Uh, but like, I don't know. You and I had so much fun. I miss ya. Miss you too. Are we bros? What kind of DQ would that be if a friend with a group wasn't permanently composed of exes? A valid point. Congrats, by the way. You deserve to be happy. How are things going for you? Lol, uh, what? They didn't think of taking myself off the market, honestly. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't even swipe today. <laughs> at, at least for now. Uh, might end up being really good for you. Uh, I def get more done. I definitely get more done if I'm not staring at this app all damn day, for the sure. Hey, I'm glad we're bros now. Me too. It's New Year's, my dude. Time to share resolutions. Uh, <laughs> do something important. Important. Make the world better, even little. You already made the world Better dumbass, you rule. Shut up, you rule. Anyways, how about you? Oh, dude, I have so many. First of all, I gotta get a tally for the new far out tally, but I'm ready for a taste of the city life. Next, I wanna go to a gallery show and let people uh, see uh, let, pe let people see my video co collage, and maybe be a little less intense about my crushes. You can do it. I'll try not to let you down. Oh, hey, there's a house show in Border in the 12th, Central kind of up. How do I ski? Wanna come? Do I get to meet the new, your new chick? Duh, boy. A uh, duh, duh, doy. Hell yeah, I'm in. Hell yeah, you are. I'm not gonna talk to anybody else. Screw everyone else. Alright, let's see. Check by the door. Envelope. Fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve. My friends are dorks. Uh, Steph, wait, what? Your friend put together a surprise scavenger hunt, and this is the first clue. You must have seriously great friends. Steph is a witty, bold, and fun, but she's also great. A listener. P.S. We are starting off easy. Don't look far. Okay. That's how she's there. She's also a great listener. Okay. Good listener. Hmm. Let's see. Singing bowl? Drums? Oh, I wanted to play the drums. Where's my original song? Maybe I put it into the back. Possible. Wait, good listener. Maybe because they haven't went to the... We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor. Aha! I knew it! I knew it! I knew there was a clue there! <laughs> One year ago, this brought us together. We are friends in a heartbeat. Okay, we're friends in a heartbeat. Hmm. Check out the back room. Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. Oh no, a whole three dollars. There's the drawings. Character sheet. Backstore t-shirt. I met Gabe when I was still with my band. He invited us to play here. Oh, wait, we can go up here now. 
turns out, every record I had on hold for myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Nice hoodie. Mannequin. Misty looks a little creepy. But once you get to know her, she's actually armless. Dang it, Ryan. I tried to help you, bro. Well, apparently you didn't want help. Wait, it was a photo. Damn, Mikey. Aww. How did you turn into such a grown-up? Steph, thought you might like a reminder of how far we've come. Wait, is that? Wait, I see something. Since it turns out I sold more bird call CDs than punk records this year, I'm gonna give Ryan a wedgie. A thank you note. Sorry, Riley, but that horse had to go. Uh, thank you so much for the delightful vintage carousel horse. Oh yeah, that horse that was in here. I think it's just the loveliest thing. Uh, Riley says it's creepy and keeps talking about it in the shop, but we will see which one of us has the last laugh. My best thrift shop find. Ugly as sin, comfy as hell, and probably bed bug free. Oh jeez, 72. Gotta add the latest game. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. We already know what's going to happen. We're going to make it to 73. 73, let's go. Closing out the year. No, we lost. Steph, what's wrong with you? Alright, well, there's that. Um... The scavenger hunt things. What else do I have to do besides so scavenger hunt? I got. I also got to look at the uh, last one I got. Can I not? Uh oh yeah. Uh, follow the clues. Complete radio tasks. Oh yeah. I also got to listen to my final song. Where is the? Where is my final song? Well, let me go over here. See what the uh, clue was again. Getting pretty mushy, even for a game. One year ago, this brought us together. We are friends in a heartbeat. Brought us together. We are friends in a heartbeat. Maybe that's in the radio station, but I'm gonna. F okay, so I'll, I'll probably check the radio station out in a second. Let me see if I can find my original song and continue that. I want to do that first. I don't know where the hell that is. The Wall of Fame. Hope I've done the old place proud. Damn. We had a good time together that day. Huh. Oh, wait, oh. In a beat. That makes sense. Okay. Ever since you started illuminating the future, your, you, uh, your show's been a bright spot in people's life. You really made Haven shine again. Son of a bitch, I'm in the middle of a scavenger hunt. Guess I'm, guess I'll take the call. Well, I found the clue. <laughs> I'll get to it after. God damn it. <laughs> and I guess while I'm in here, I can take another ad. There's another thing I have to do. I still don't know where the, my original song is. I don't know where that's been placed. It's been It's been moved around a lot. Hello, welcome. Hey, hey, you're on with Steph. Hello, Stephanie. Oh, Ducky. Ducky? Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. 
sorry, your what? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. How many of you are left? Three. Uh, plus me equals four. For now. I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. <laughs> Go D20, go! 17. Ooh! Go Ducky. So, Ducky's Tontine. He wins his Tontine, his friends, his friendship wins. He wins friendship. Friendship! Ducky, I'm back. I'm back. Happily. Or, sadly, your friends all continue to live this year, so you don't win your team. You're certain? They're really old. You could kill them. <laughs> Pretty certain. I give this prediction a bronze octagon. It's the highest level of radio psychic certainty known to man. Uh, I see. But, thinking about your friends' deaths so much causes you to remember why you're friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally tontine free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. Thanks for calling, Ducky. That's yeah, changed. Uh, let's see. Feel it's still. Uh, when am I gonna lose you? Sure. Since there's no all I want is your love in here. Because I would have definitely played that again. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Uh, I need to read ads. Uh, Black Lantern. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern. Where, at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. Yeah. You have time to... Uh, win raffle. Win one of the raffle prizes donated by local artisans. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers drink specials. specials so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer scented heart of Cave and Spring. You better not start raining. Good. I continuing on with the scavenger hunt and to find my song album, <laughs> which you know what we'll actually save that for the uh, next episode because we are almost out of time in this episode. Uh, so uh, yeah, I don't know if the uh, next episode could be the last one, but we will find out, won't we? So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe, do whatever, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time. Oh yeah, Bella Flop. Alright. Here we go. Run. Save yourself. Oh god.